Hello, family. This is James Sinky. March the 15th, 2021. I'm having to be a little quiet here because we're in an undisclosed location deep, deep in the Washita Mountains. Now, I want y'all to see what this guy's talking about here. I'm not really sure. I just touched on this video a little bit, so uh, we're going to kind of watch this at the same time together. So let's see what's happening here. little red dots at the center of the screen. I know I've got a lot of other place marks on there. There's no way for me to separate these out right now. But all these red dots. Look. What's look, look, uh, uh, Okay, hold on. Nothing. Wow. Oh my god. What do y'all think that is? What do you think all them little red dots are? Think it's got anything to do with planet hell? And look here. That's all around where that cursed camp is that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks there in uh, southern Nevada. And yeah, let's keep going. Uh, just trying to get a copyright strike or something here. God, look what's going on up here. Wow, just east of Yellowstone. A pocket of hot spots just east of Yellowstone on the Great Dunn Edge. Then two hot spots spreading down the Great Dunn Edge. Then nothing across a four-state area. Going over to next to where our earthquake struck two days ago over in Oregon. But the big cluster is right down here at Long Valley Caldera, Mono Lake, going over into the Nevada border. And this is the volcanic field right in the middle, Mono Lake. Jeez. Okay, well, we've got ourselves a serious situation going on with the hotspots, but why? Yeah, again, what do y'all think this is? Uh, this guy, he's been doing this for a little while, uh, watching these maps and stuff like that on Google, Google Earth or what have you. But uh, wait here, let me just keep going with it. The hotspots are plate triggered, but how? I don't know yet. Now we're going to go over and look over in Arizona. This is the middle of the desert, guys. It's like the Grand Canyon almost over there. But this volcano right here has had all the earthquake activity around it this week. Now all of a sudden... We get an outbreak of hotspots. The earthquakes broke out right here at the border with the swarm. It's not there today. Now, right at the center of the screen here. There was a swarm there two days ago. Now, all of a sudden, a bunch of hotspots break out around it. Come on. Come on. Sound like we're in the, uh, some more of the signs that the Most High God told us to watch out for. And Christians, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all still believing in that Jesus Christ crap. You better get out of it. Uh, personally, uh, I think you might as well just stick your head up your ass and jump because it's a little bit too late. But I think I'd stick my head up and start jumping anyway. Here. There's something going on. This is something new that we've discovered in the past couple of years with the hotspots. But the tie-in with the earthquakes and the plate shifting, that's just a new development we figured out. It, it apparently has happened for ages this way, but... We just figured it out, myself and my viewers in chat, over the course of the last year and a half, two years at the most. So this is something new and exciting. These hotspots that show up that the computer filters out doesn't know what to make of them. And they're centered around areas where we're seeing a seismic shift take place. But what about over here? Again, this... Yeah, I don't think I'd be worrying about it over there right this moment. I believe I'd be uh, putting my face on the ground and praying and asking to the Most High God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to forgive you for worshiping a false idol all these years. So, again, you better stick your head up there and start jumping. Let's get some more of this. This is over in Arizona. Let's turn on our borders and labels just so you can get a good idea of the borders here. So, this is the state of Arizona here. And we go up to the north and we're in South Utah. But what's out here? Nothing. And I mean nothing except for what? Desert? We have a few old roads out here. I mean, I'm not even seeing any power lines. A few old desert. I've been in that area uh, 
Southwest Arizona, many a time I got people in Tucson and Marana and all, all around that area. And I can remember as a kid going out there and, and, and crime was real bad back then because I know it's horrible still today, but I believe what's going on right now is part of God's judgment coming down on us. Uh, these planets that are right on top of us, well, we all got magnetic poles, so I'll just imagine it's a tug of war going on up there right now with these, uh, with planet hell and the rest of that shit. But here, let's little, listen a little bit more of this. I want to see what it looks like topography wise before we make any judgments about there not being much vegetation there. You know, it could be deceiving from up in space. No, yeah, no, no, it's not deceiving. That's not deceiving from up in space. Uh, yeah, and remember what I said, five-acre fire didn't even show up at my house. A big grass fire doesn't, doesn't show up. Long-burning forest fire, and the computer's filtering it out anyway. The computer says no fire. So, computer's filtering it out, saying no fire, so nothing's burning. Huge area of hotspot showing across this entire complex, and it's a volcanic complex. These are lava flows and volcanoes. This is where the steam appeared several years ago. I made a video on it, and mainstream media made a mockery of me and tried to shut me down, basically, for noticing steam coming off here one morning. The east side of the San Francisco volcanic field near Sunset Crater. Steam. Okay, Christian, so I'm going to ask you a question. How many times has God told you in the Bible, and I'm talking about the King James Version, and uh, the Old Testament and the New. How many times has it been said that uh, God told us to worship no man, worship no one. There's nobody at his side. He did all this by himself. And so to worship nobody but him, him alone. And how many times, let's, let's go to the New Testament, with, with, with Christ how many times did Christ say worship God only? Come on, folks. Y'all been sitting in pews for years. And you read right over the verses. What happens when you read over them? Did you, does your damn eyes glaze over? Well, here, let me give you some more shit for your eyes to glaze over on. Because it's right on top of you right now. Steam coming out of there and blowing over into the desert in the morning. One morning, several years ago, like 2014. Made a video. They denied it. But now we have hot spots out there. Nobody can deny that. You just have to say that's a coincidence, a chance that it's at the volcanic field at a time where the plate's shifting along the edge of the crater. Now, the rest of the hot spots, like, for instance, over in Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, these go back to oil wells where they flare off. They'll flare off for hours on end, a huge flame 20 feet tall, and that gets picked up by the satellite. But the predominance or cluster is in Arizona going up into Utah, the volcanic fields, and over in California at the super volcano. That's where the predominance of the clusters of hotspots are. Can't be chance or coincidence. Cannot be chance or coincidence. It's some kind of geophysical phenomenon that the satellite's picking up. It filters out. We don't know what to make of it. It doesn't know what to make of it. All I know is that it shows up before seismic. Okay, family, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video right now. Uh, I'll leave the, uh, the links in the description if you want to go watch the whole video. Uh, I'm going to finish it up myself because I'm Really curious what this is, and uh, seems like on a daily basis now, uh, things are happening. People are seeing stuff, taking pictures of it, everything. So, again, Christians, when them when them uh, when them uh, uh, burning rocks start raining down on your ass, what you gonna do then? It's gonna be too late. You ain't gonna do nothing but get your wave your ass right over in that fire while you got your head stuck up your ass. All right, family, this is James Sinky, also known as a Hillbilly Hebrew, coming to you from an undisclosed location. Heads up, everyone. Much love.